So what exactly is the foreign exchange? And it, th this is not a, a difficult thing to explain, but it is different than uh, what you may be used to in other capital markets. And I think that the root of uh, the, the biggest difference and, and hence uh, probably the biggest potential confusion is just how are Forex pairs traded? What exactly is it? Well, essentially what the Forex is, is the abbreviation obviously for foreign exchange, and it's the relative value of one currency versus another. Now this is, this again, this is a pretty simple explanation if we can use a case study of a situation we've probably all been in in one shape or another at one time in our lives. So uh, let's imagine right now that we're not talking about Meditrader or, we're, or the foreign exchange itself. We're talking about vacation time. And we're planning to go take a vacation. You, let's, let's say that you live in the United States and you're planning to go take a vacation uh, to Switzerland. That means that you're going to have to convert some spending money, right? So you're going to be converting some dollars into francs. This is the symbol for Swiss francs, and this is the, the notation you would see when you're talking about a forex pair. This is the dollar compared to the franc. Well, what is the exchange rate for the dollar franc? Well, let's say it's uh, uh, 1.2049. What that means is, it, that means it costs 1.2049 francs to buy a dollar. So that's pretty simple. Uh, exchange rates are typically carried out to the fourth or fifth decimal place when you're getting a really good pricing. So you can get all the way out here to the fifth decimal place. And this decimal place right here is called a pip. So one move up or down in that number there. So if we go from 2049 to 2050, then we've moved up one pip. So you'll hear Forex traders use that uh, verbiage all the time. Now, if we were to convert some spending money, so let's say, for example, we're going to turn uh, $500 worth of spending money into francs at this particular exchange rate. Well, that's going to give us 602 francs. All right? So now we've done our first foreign exchange transaction. If you've ever traveled abroad, this is what you've done. So you've turned your domestic currency into a, uh, a, another currency at the exchange rate. This is one half of the foreign exchange transaction. Now let's take a little bit of a step back and uh, talk about well, what happens at the end of the summer when we've decided to leave our vacation and start to go home and we haven't spent any of our spending cash. So we still have these 602 francs. What's happened? All right, now it's time for our vacation to end, and we still have those 602 francs in our wallet, and we're looking to be able to exchange them back into dollars. Now some time has elapsed, the relative value between these two currencies has changed, and they now have an exchange rate of 1.1000, or in some cases you'll see the uh, a quote taken out to the fifth decimal place. So it's changed. Essentially, we've lost 1,049 pips in the exchange rate. It's actually dropped that much. But this actually worked out in our favor because what's really happening here is that we have our 602 uh, francs and we're going to convert them into dollars. But what's happened here is that now it costs fewer francs. The exchange rate has dropped. So now it only costs 1.1 francs to buy a dollar, where it used to be a little better than 1.2 francs to buy a dollar. So the franc has actually increased in value uh, versus the dollar. So this is, this is the way that a Forex transaction uh, works. And now you might think, well, we live in the US. That must be a bad thing for us. Well, not necessarily. And this is something that's hard to wrap your head around when you first learn it. Uh, if we convert this 602 francs at our our new exchange rate, we get back $547. Now, that means that we just made a profit on our vacation of 10%, at least on our spending money. And the reason why was because over the summer, essentially we were holding an asset that appreciated in value. This is just like if you held a stock that's worth dollars and it, it appreciates in value versus the dollar. The, the franc, we held this asset that was worth more uh, that became more valuable. We converted it back into our domestic currency and we're able to walk away with a profit. Well, this is the same way that the foreign exchange works. Now, the way that you'll see this actually charted on a chart like any other uh, capital market is you'll see uh, we've got our 
we've got our chart here or the X and Y axis and you'll see trends that look like this uh, just like anything else that you uh, would see in any other capital market now when you've got uh, the trend going up then what you know is that this currency on the left hand side is appreciating in value when the trend is going down the currency on the left hand side is actually depreciating in value and the currency on the right hand side is appreciating in value which that was the situation here so if you could imagine it it's almost as though we took our vacation right there and then started decided to come home right there where the franc was appreciating during that trend this is this is what moves currency exchange rates it's what moves the forex and as a forex trader it's it's what you're speculating on sometimes over a very short-term basis depending on what kind of trader you are and other times on a very long-term basis again depending on what kind of a trader you are it works exactly the same way it's just all done online it's done through a margin account and it's much easier and much more convenient than having to fly all the way to Switzerland